Hi, I'm Debbie from So So Easy and in this video we're going to have a look at how to use a twin needle, especially in this example for how to use the twin needle to hem some knit fabrics. So the equipment that I have, my twin needle, uh, because we're using a knit fabric, this one is for, uh, it's called a, a stretch twin needle. You might also see them described as ballpoint. And they come in several different sizes. This one is the medium size, it's a size 4. You can also get them wider and narrower than this. And the size describes the distance in millimetres between the two needles. We also need to use two um, rolls of thread. So I'm just using a white for this example because it will be a good contrast. And as well as having my bobbin and my thread in the machine, I've also put some thread on an extra bobbin and I'm going to use this one as the second spool. I've got this which is a, a knit stay tape. It's fusible on one side so when we iron it, it, one side of it will stick to the fabric and we're going to use that for hemming. And also because I have terrible eyesight I've got this one which is a, a needle threader and I'm going to show you now how this one works. So safety first when we're going to change machine needles and I'll turn off the power to my sewing machine. Then I need to remove the existing needle and I've got this little tool which came with it which is just like a little screwdriver. And I can undo and remove the existing needle. There we go. And then our twin needle is going to go in. Now it has a, a rounded side on the front and on the back there's a flat side and the flat side is going to face away from me as I put this in the machine. Can be a little fiddly. Okay, so that goes up in there, and I'll use my little screwdriver to tighten back up. Okay, now my needle's in place, and I can turn the electricity back onto the machine. There we go. Now we need to thread the needle, and if I take my bobbin thread, I'm going to stick this one up on the top of the machine, and then I'll draw the camera back so you can get a larger view. Now I'm going to thread the two, the, the two threads through the machine. Now obviously every machine is going to thread up differently, so do look at the manual for your sewing machine to see how to do yours. I will take the two threads and I'm going to start them off in the same way. Okay, now they're down at the bottom here where the needle is. And I'll zoom the camera in so you can get a closer view of what I'm going to do at the needle in order to thread it. So I have my two threads now hanging at the front of the machine and at this point I need to separate them out and we're going to thread each of them separately. So normally my machine has a, an automatic needle threader but it's not going to work for this double needle. So if I take the thread on the left hand side, I've got a little bracket that I have to put that behind. So that's that one. And now I can use my little needle threader. If I push it like that, hold it there, can you just, just about see? It has a tiny little needle and I need to put that by the thread. So I connect the thread here and I can line up the little needle there with the eye on my sewing machine needle and it pushes the thread out the back and there's a little hook. I can grab hold of. Unfortunately my eyesight, even with my spectacles on, is still not ideal. Let's see if I can grab hold. Okay, first one done. That wasn't too bad. So now I'll repeat again with this second one. Now it goes through the eye of the needle. There's the little hook to pull it. Okay, I did a better job that time. And now I'll just push those threads to the back. Okay, so now we're ready to start stitching. But before we do that, I need to prepare the fabric. So this is the knit fabric that we want to add our hem to. We're going to turn it up like this and stitch with the double needle. But I like to stabilise it. 
um, this is where the, the uh, fusible knit stay tape comes in. So I'm just going to take this over to my ironing board. I'm going to add a little tape just to one side, just like this. Iron that into place to stick and then I'll come back and we'll start to sew. Now I have my fusible tape in place and what I like about this is whenever I use this to hem the knits I don't get that kind of wavy ripply appearance. It stops the material, the, the fabric from stretching out too much as you sew. Especially with the twin needle it is going to, it does have a tendency that you can stretch the fabric out a little bit. And also I like the fact that you can just turn the fabric over and the edge of the tape here forms such a nice guide that in fact I normally don't even need to use pins. I can just feel along here with my fingers, I can feel the edge of the tape and it enables me to get a nice regular width across the hem of my garment too. So now let's have a look more at how this is going to stitch in our machine. So normally when you would sew a hem you would more than likely sew it with the uh, wrong side facing up this way so you could control where your stitches were going to go. However with the twin needle you need to do it the opposite way because the twin needle stitches are going to be on the upward face of the garment. So in this case we're going to sew the hem with the wrong side turned underneath and that's another reason why it's so nice to have this edge here that I can feel with that knit stay tape. So I can turn that over, slide it in under here drop down that foot. So I've selected a regular straight stitch on my machine but I do like to increase the stitch length a little bit so where I normally use a 2.5 I've increased to a 3 because I found that get, that gives a slightly neater finish and I'm just going to put the needles down and now we're ready to go. Now I'm going to feel along this edge just here and also I can see a little line just here where the inside of the fabric is folded up and ideally I would like to catch that inside edge with my twin needles so I'm going to try and sew slowly along here so that that inside edge is between the two needles. take a look. So here's the finished result on this knit fabric. You get two rows of parallel stitches along the top and you can see that the stay tape has really done its work because it's very nice. There's no rippling or puckering or anything of the fabric. It's a very nice finish. And then we have a look on the inside. You can see just here where the zigzag part of the stitch on the inside has um, just about got the edge of that fabric so that gives it a nice neat edge along here and it also provides some stretch so when you're using it on a knit fabrics on a knit garment like this you have plenty of stretch in those seams and you're not going to break any of those stitches when you're getting your t-shirts on and off. Now as well as using the double needle for this kind of technique you can also use it for decorative stitches so let's have a look at that next. So the twin needle can also be used to produce two rows of decorative stitches and you can also use two different coloured threads because you have two needles and two spools. So here I've used a white but I've also used a minty green next to it and it produces two decorative stitches that are evenly spaced. I practiced with a few more down at this end of the fabric and some turn out better than others so if you're planning to use a decorative stitch with your twin needle do try them out on some scraps of fabric like I do prior to using them on your um, on your actual garment itself. Now on this one here for example the tension was very tight and these two are quite bunched up but once I've loosened out the tension the needle the stitches are a lot better. So let's have a go at running one through the machine now. 
So I've got a wide mouthed foot just here because instead of doing the straight running stitch that we were doing before the needles will be going backwards and forwards as they do the decorative stitch so you may want to just run through manually turning your needles up and down just to make sure that they aren't going to hit the sides of your foot before you begin. finished. Another example of the decorative stitching that you can do with the double needle. And again I've used the two different colours of threads so you can do that if you want to. So as well as using the double needle as a great way to hem your knit garments you can also do some really nice decorative stitches with it as well. So don't be afraid of using the, the twin needle, it really isn't very difficult um, once you get past the very difficult part of threading it that is. Thank you very much for watching.